I decided I am going to try my hand at making some homemade apple cider vinegar. So, I don't know if it'll make its own video or if I'm just going to stick this somewhere. Here's the free apples that I got from the local food shares. There's my half gallon mason jar vinegar to clean it with, clean the apples with. And then a filter to put on that. And this is some filtered water that I got from mom's house. Oh, I forgot to put a picture of the sugar. But anyway, this may have its own video start to finish, but it takes weeks. So I'm probably just going to stick this video in the middle of something. Okay, I am going to make some apple cider vinegar. However, I already made a batch of it, but somehow or another, I didn't tape the very beginning of it. Or, I taped it and then deleted it somehow, but I'm going to start again. <clears throat> In fact, here's my finished product right here. Um, but, I bought these store-bought, and I thought, let me use this fruit and vegetable wash, which is... I don't know if you can see. Although I put more water and everything in this, which meant... Okay, I've got the apples cut. I just did kind of small chunks. And what I... This is a half-gallon jar. Here is four cups of water. A lot of people just pour the sugar right in here. I'm choosing not to, but it's certainly going to be easier to do that, if that's what you want to do. I just thought I could mix it up easier this way. Most of the recipes that I'm seeing are calling for one tablespoon per cup of water. So there's one, two, three, four. And it doesn't have to be exact from what I'm hearing because Apples already have sugar. I mean, they're kind of sweet. Um, some places even seem to put more than that. This is talking about in a half-gallon jar. or Actually, a full gallon is what this says. Put your apples and scraps in your gallon jar and fill it about three-quarters full. That may be a tad more. Um, but it, then it says add about half a cup of less of honey or sugar. Well, I don't want to put honey in here. So I'm going to stir this up really well. And then I'm just going to pour it in here. I'm going to come on up. That's almost exactly the right amount. And we're not going to put, we're not going to put a lid on it at this point. What you do now, you can put a towel, a cloth. This is, obviously, this is a um, coffee filter. And now I'm going to put a rubber band on it. And there you go. Every day, I'm going to come in and I'm going to lift this up and stir it. Some people don't do that either. But now this is the beginning. I will do a little sticker on here and say, began, let's see, this is the 7th, November 7th. So this is the beginning of it. Okay, this is, I think, day four of my beginning to make... My first ever apple cider vinegar. Those bubbles means it is cooking, so to speak. It is fermenting like it's supposed to. A lot of them, see all that foam there? They say that is natural and normal for this stage. Um, yeah, it's getting darker, the juice. Some people say just sort of stir it or move it around. You want to 
sort of move it around. I'm not sure what they say for um, what that does, but anyway, it's sort of moving the apples around from so they're not all just right at the top and whatever. So, so far it seems to be so good. I'm going to say some of them tell you only do this once a day, but others will say twice a day. I don't think it'll hurt to do. This is my second time today. I try to do it at that, and then once I'm done, I just put that back on there and wait until tomorrow. Do it again. Okay, this is the beginning of the third week of my homemade apple cider vinegar. I began on September the 16th. Today is October 7th. So... I'm probably going to have to lay the phone down a moment. I'm going to take this off. I actually have two of those coffee covers I may or filters. I probably only needed one. But let's look at this. It kind of looks yucky, but it's supposed to. Let me pause this a minute. Okay, I've never made this before, but I'm trying to watch several different people that I like and respect on YouTube and that's kind of like looks like silt down at the bottom and up at the top the little foaming is pretty much stopped this looks like the beginning yes that's the beginning of what they call the mother I still am going to wait the full month before I remove the apple. Let's see if you can see that. Yes, it looks kind of funny, but the bubbles have stopped. This is maybe the last time that I'm going to stir it. I've been stirring this at least once or twice a day. There is no mold at all. And sadly, I didn't do a beginning video but the beginning began with just filtered water that I got from Mama and her filter. And apples, and I think it was a quarter cup of sugar. So there, I've stirred it for today. It looks funky, but they say it's how it's supposed to do at this point. But I will be keeping touch with y'all still right now it still it smells about like almost like a that's hard to say more like a wine I right, to put that back on there but I know it's not ready because it does not smell like vinegar and even though it has maybe a soured wine smell everyone says don't mistake and think, oh, okay, that's a wine now. No, 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 no. Everyone says that it tastes really like nasty wine. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep on for this for another week, and then I'll do uh, maybe one of those test, test strip test. And while I have you on here, just as a teaser, someone told me about banana peels and rubbing alcohol that it is you make it into it becomes a liquid that you can put on your arthritis it's anti-inflammatory you do not drink this is rubbing alcohol and banana peels and that is all it is darkening so I'll keep tabs on that too and let y'all know how that goes but this will be about apple cider vinegar. Hopefully this will be a win and not a fail. But it is what it is. We learn from our mistakes, right? Alright. I should have done this the other day. This is now let's see, four weeks and two days into this. Apple cider vinegar or apple vinegar apple ferment whatever They're, people are calling it different things this is what it's looking like right now and i'm going to go ahead and drain it off 
This was the entire apple, including the cores, the seeds, and everything. It's looking very cloudy to me, but let me go ahead and pour it into here. Smells like vinegar to me. Okay, I don't know if you can do anything with this unless you have... I don't know if pigs will even eat it. So... Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all the leftover apples. You probably can't see me, but into a bucket. Like a scrap bucket to figure out what to do with that. And now, here's my jar. I said this is cloudier than some, although I am seeing some online that is cloudy. Uh, hold on a minute. All right, I've forgotten about this. What I'm going to do is. Here's the pH tester thing. So I'm pulling out one of these strips. I've never done this before. So this is a learning experience for me. Okay, that's the color of this. And I will see, I should have brought my glasses. Let's see what that is. Okay, I can't tell for sure. It looks like it's a three, but it may be a four. I don't know what you think. See, that's that's a three right there. So We'll go by that. I will look up and see, and I'm going to pour it into another jar. It may not be completely finished because some said that it can take even longer. Oh, that worked out perfect. So I'm going to pour that <clears throat> in there. And I will double check this and see but this is the point that i hear that you can go ahead it's finished doing its fermenting and bubbling it bubbled in as i poured it out but now that can be put someplace and just left and what i'll do before i ever were to start using it i'll do another test but there we there we go at this point I was sure hoping this video would not be one of the really long ones, but I may as well forget about that. I probably am going to end it after this one. This began, and sorry if I'm repeating myself, I started this back in September on the 16th day, 9-16-2024, apple cider vinegar, and I began it with some free apples that I'd gotten from Wakala Giving Hands, a local... Um, Nonprofit uh, food share. They do all kinds of wonderful things for us. But somehow or another, I either deleted the very first beginning of that. So, anyhow, make short story long, because that's what I do. I began another batch on November the 7th, 2024, just the other day, with some apples that I had bought sadly. So, here's the two comparisons. This is the beginning. I labeled it because there's going to be two full steps on this. This batch, the first batch that I meant to be the only one that I did to share, like I said, it began September 16th. Depending on who you follow, er people seem to have different ideas about this who I first got the information from on this said you usually wait about four weeks 
Well, some places are even saying as little as two weeks. I went with four weeks on this batch, leaving the fruit, leaving the apples in it for four weeks. Then on the fourth week, I came in and I drained out the apples because it looked finished. And now, once I strained it, was on October 16th. So it's not quite a full month in. We're three weeks in or close to it. Because today is November, November the 9th. In one of the videos that I probably will be sharing, I made the mistake, I wasn't even thinking about it, as I stuck the pH pads, which I got some of this, because I'm new at this. I'd rather err on the side of caution. And trust me, I'm going to err. I do every time. I do every time. But I had stuck this right down in there, and then... Someone that I saw on Mary's Nest had told her, no, I wouldn't recommend sticking the tapes in there, the little pieces of paper, because really you don't know what may come off of this. So, this time I'm going to do it just like this, and we're going to look at it together. To me, that looks like a solid four. Now, some people are saying, you see, not quite that, definitely more than that, and it's more than that. It looks like a solid four to me. Solid four is a good place to end if you so choose, but you can also let this ferment longer. Some places say, let's see, this one here. I've heard even some people say at this point, let it go at least one month, maybe even two. And the longer it sits in the... Here again, enough, these are so confusing. That's why there's so much trial and error. A couple of people say put it in a warm, dark spot. Others say no, it's always a cool, dark spot. What I am going to do is sample this. I did it the, sampled it the other day. So far, this is the best tasting vinegar I have ever had. Seriously, bar none, this is the best I have ever tasted. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And because it's acidic, I didn't put, I didn't leave the metal lid on there that I will be in one of the other little videos that I put it on shortly, but I didn't leave it long. And then I thought, hey, Goober, you shouldn't put the metal on there. That's acidic. So this is probably going to be the end. See, I'm getting fruit flies from all this stuff that I'm working on. I am going to let this still ferment just a little bit longer, but I'm liking the taste so much. This may be it for me. Make it as long as it, it tastes good because this would go great as salad dressing. It'll still go great for marinades. And it also, a health thing, why I like this, it supposedly is a probiotic. And I know whenever I had bronchitis and this, that, and the other, I was doing green tea with store-bought apple cider vinegar. Well, now that I've got this, I've got my own thing. And then I can put some honey in it. There's just so many things that you can do with this and for this. And it's just really delicious. I, I'm shockingly surprised. Um, I see that still trying to bubble up even after I poured some of the water off. That's okay because I put it, I was going to just put it in a bowl. But that, this is two days in. That is working. I mean, it's working. Or maybe it's three days in. This is what you want. That bubble means it's working and working. It's working. We'll cover this back up. I am just so pleased with some of the things that I'm learning. And my favorite ones. That, for, please forgive me if I repeat myself. Hey, I'm old. I always do that anyway. Y'all know. You know. You know the thing. Uh, but Mary's Nest. And Rain Country. 
Those seem to be my two favorite people on stuff like this. I really love it. Consider doing your own fermenting, your own vinegar making. I'm not into making beer or alcohol or wine at this moment. But there are things besides just drinking wine as an alcoholic, hey, let's get drunk and party kind of thing. There's some things that wine, if it's not really super potent, is going to be good for. I'm loving this, y'all. Experiment now. I'm very pleased with this. And it does have some stuff down here that's a natural... Let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is my store-bought Bragg's apple cider vinegar. See at the bottom? I have that same thing on mine. So actually, instead of making me concerned, that makes me feel good. That's an active yeast situation. And the cloudiness that I saw at one point in the fermentation of this, I had looked it up, even though it kind of looked yakky. I looked it up and it was yeast. It's not mold. Try some things now. This is so much better than this. Plus, I've heard some disappointing things about this company being sold out. Well, let's just leave it at that. Learn who you can trust, what you can trust. One thing you, you want to know, one thing you can trust? The Lord, Yahweh. Heavenly Father, the creator of all things, he loves you. He loves you so much he gave us his son, Jesus. And Jesus loves us so much he gave us his life. It don't get any better than that. Love you guys. I know this is long. I'm so sorry. I don't know whether to do it in parts because this actually, this process is one full process. And then once the the fruit is taken out. This is its whole other process. It's just there's not anything to it after that. And another reason I probably will leave this in one video. I'm so sorry that I'm so mouthy. I don't know. I'm just that way somehow. I don't know if it's because I'm old or what. But a lot of the, pro the ones that I was finding, they did it in two or three different stages. And I kept having trouble finding stage one, stage two, stage three. So... I'm going to do all of it in one video. I'm so sorry. Hopefully someone learned something. But this is so good. I am so, so pleased. Love you guys. Take care. God bless.